I want my kids to have clean air, uh, a clean environment, sustainable energy sources uh, when, when we run out of oil. And uh, so th that's a lot of my motivation. In the United States, we've traditionally had very low cost gasoline compared to some other nations around the world. And the subsidy was intended to encourage production uh, and research and alternative energy sources and get those into the marketplace. Uh, the, the problem with a fixed subsidy, um, which is how it was originally designed, is that by helping producers compete with gasoline, if gasoline goes up in price and ethanol would be naturally competitive, uh, you're basically giving a free, uh, you're, you're providing a free giveaway to producers uh, when they don't need it. And so the point of the variable subsidy is to take that uh, free giveaway away in times when ethanol is naturally competitive uh, and to provide it when ethanol needs more support. We're trying to design these policies so that they would be applicable to any alternative energy. I think if you're, if you're doing purely academic research and you expect politicians to jump up and down and get excited, uh, you might be out of luck. But, but I've been trained in this department to be practically minded so that the research has some outcomes that will be of interest to politicians and will be of interest to businesses as well. I've always looked at my research as a way to pay back the people that have invested in me and invested in our university. We want, um, we want it to lead to better policy outcomes and a better future for our kids.